Hey guys, this is Pat, and today I'll be working on my AirPlay setup in my uh, car. It's a Acura MDX 2003. Um, basically, I have my own custom uh, or head unit in there. I put it into Pioneer Deck, touchscreen, all that, and some subwoofers in the back. So um, it's definitely a good audio setup to uh, test this out with. Um, Right here is everything I'm going to use. Um, the first thing I'll start off with is I'm using a Raspberry Pi. And what's cool about this Raspberry Pi is it has this thing. What this is is a little controller that tells the Raspberry Pi to turn off when the ignition is off. And I definitely thought this was needed because you don't want your computer to just pull the plug every time something shuts off. So that's where this comes in and has a wire that you uh, I'll wire to the uh, ignition and uh, should turn off the Raspberry Pi every time my car turns off and also has some fail safes in there too which will uh, after four hours will shut off the Raspberry Pi if it ever freezes or anything and there's some other things you can uh, purchase one of these from a site called mosberrycircuits.com that's where I got it uh, moving on, I'll be using a wireless router that uh, I had just sitting around, so I kind of just put together this little power cable that, here's a uh, cigarette lighter, whatever thing's called, took it apart, I'm going to solder the back of it, or one of my car cigarette lighter soldered the wires straight toward, straight to this. So it just stays hidden and all that. Um, and then here, kind of just put the wires together and um, it'll just power the router. One thing you do have to match is uh, I looked at the router's output and how many amps it takes and it's um, 2.5 amps with uh, 5 volts. So I kind of found a car charger that uh, matched that same output which I found one that's for 5 volts, 2 amps, and I tested it out, worked fine. That's good. Ethernet cable straight towards the Raspberry Pi. Um, one thing that does help is a multimeter, and time you need to uh, check the voltage. Um, one thing about this project that is, uh, I guess, a lot of people had trouble with is having high quality sound. And a big thing was having digital audio or HDMI converter or a USB audio. Now, I heard a lot of problems with USB audio either crashing, I mean, some people say it works fine, I don't know, or um, which would call it just it's not that good or it just it's not compatible. So I went with this. This is an HDMI to HDMI audio. It's not a sound card, it's just it's not a decoder either, it just passes the audio, passes through the audio. So let's say you plugged in headphones to this, it's not gonna have the highest sound output. What you need is an amplifier. Now, when you use this in a car setup, it works perfect because there's an amplifier in the head unit, plus it's passing through an amplifier to the speakers. So right there, the sound output is just gonna be amplified and sound perfect. I already tested this out in my car and test it out between a, um, a USB uh, that goes straight to my phone and then I, I test it out with a laptop using this converter from HDMI and basically sound the same. So I'm pretty confident that this is gonna put out high quality sound without the Pi crashing or having any uh, audio uh, problems. Now I'll tell you where to purchase all these in the description and um, all that. Now, other things you do need, standard tools. What I'm using is this industrial strength um, Velcro. And of course, your AUX cable that goes to your head unit. Now, let's say you have an old Pioneer deck or something. I purchased this to just try to keep everything hidden. That was one thing I wanted to make to make it. So, though, like one of my challenges or whatever, the goals is to keep everything hidden, no wire sticking out as much as I could. So I purchased this, it goes into the back of the head unit, it's an IP bus to aux, but it didn't work, so it's kind of just sitting around for nothing, it's okay. Uh, do you need 
um, solder and your eye soldering iron, all that stuff is should have. I mean, a lot of this stuff you can just find around your house, honestly. So, um, basically, you kind of went over everything, some wire, uh, rather all that. So I guess we'll move on to the car part, and I'll just all skip right, hey to guys. Um, this is basically uh, everything I've gotten done so far. Um, right under here, I see this little panel pulled out. And if you can see or not, let's see if I can get the camera back there. You got the HD converter, the router, and then back there is the Raspberry Pi. Everything's hooked up. And all I have to do is solder the wires, the power wires to or power things, whatever, and my radio's on, the ignition, all that. And then solder the router, the router's power supply to the cigarette lighter. And then I should be all set. So I'll uh, play it when hey I'm guys, done with that. Um, I wired up the router and everything's soldered on. One thing I do have to say is don't be like me using a lot of electrical tape, uh, electrical tape and uh, being all ghetto just because this is not really the right way you're supposed to do it but it works it's working the routers on down there I don't know if you can see any flashing lights you probably can't but it's on it's blinking um basically now I just gotta get the raspberry pi all powered up, uh, wired up and stuff, and go on from there. Um, also another thing is when you are wiring with the your radio and using those wires, do take your battery or unplug your battery, that's what I'm going to do. Probably should have done that with this so I didn't short circuit anything or like that, but uh, you know, I just kind of rushed through it. I, I really didn't care. but. Uh, the next thing will be me uh, wiring up the whole Raspberry Pi and all that good stuff. But this is it. You get this little cigarette lighter thing, soldered it straight onto that. Ran some wires to the. I don't know if you can see, but that cigarette lighter, and then there's the wires wired up straight to it. So. All right, guys, I got the car on. Everything's hooked up, and right now. I'm gonna show you this baby in action. All the wires, and I got a nice, basic, good, good enough bassy song to start off low. Um, so I'll show you. This is all wireless. There's no, no wires in it. Nothing. And then when you scroll up on my iOS 7, you can see that or not. You go here, get the iPhone, and then the share port on the Raspberry Pi. So let's just play it. A little bit of delay, but it's all good. Uh, everything's high quality. Only two years old when daddy used to bring them hookers home. Looking like my grandma. My niggas got the ammo. We jack sun and then light up the L. Sam, yo. So yeah, uh, everything works perfect, and when I shut off the car, it'll put tur uh, tell the uh, Raspberry Pi to go into shutdown sequence, and the wireless router is hooked up to the cigarette lighter, or power outlet, right here, at least in the back. Uh, I took out the wires so you can't see it, it's all hidden, and this is all my junk and mess so I'm going to throw under there. and hopefully organize a little bit but uh, I'll show you a little video with like a range test of everything and uh, yeah uh, everything's everything working perfect it's awesome and final product Cooler than what cool is, slick without no lubricant. 
bullshit, you just fool a bitch.